Hello everyone and welcome back. Well alrighty then, what I have for you today is my submission to, well, my buddy Harley, West Coast Picks, um, Maker's Challenge. And for you that are not familiar with that, what that is, is what he wants you to do is make anything you want, lock sport related, anything you want, and send a link to his video, 438, and I'll, I'll leave a, I'm going to pin um, a comment below with a link to that video so you can find it easy, and uh, yeah, just make something, anything lock sport related, Link, leave a link for your video to his video, 438, and he will enter you in an awesome giveaway, um, which is his Maker's Challenge, and it is one of everything that he makes lock sport related, and he makes a lot of awesome stuff. Um, I have a lot of it here in the lock lab. Um, it, since I, I was in a lock sport, I mean, he, he has sent me a lot of stuff, right from his pocket picks to these awesome tension wrenches, um, pinning trays, uh, and some really awesome picks, and I'll share those with you real quick. This is what I have in my collection so far, and, you know, a lot of you have already seen it, um, but I already have a couple of those really awesome picks here in my collection. And with the rest of these really awesome picks, and I got one more too just recently from Pickaholic, which is another awesome pick I'm going to be putting in there. I got some kind of redwood, and, and I mean this is really well done too. I haven't put it in there yet because if you could see that some some kind of cloth or something, and letters are peeling up and just not sticking very well. And I have some 24 point board I'm going to put back there, and before I put this in there and start putting the letters in there again. But I, I got to redo this a little bit. But I have some awesome picks already from West Coast picks and everything. And like I said, he just makes some awesome stuff. And there's a lot of stuff in that giveaway that I do not have that I would just love to have in my collection. But anyways, speaking of which, uh, what I have made for the entry in the um, Maker's Challenge giveaway is a, well, it's a pick myself. Um, that's a, well, I guess you call that a medium hook. I pretty much polish it up, and I use the awesome multicolor wood that I got from my buddy Trekmaster30. Probably going to maybe put one or two more coats of polyurethane on that. I think it's still a little bit thin. But, uh, yeah, this is what I have for, uh, well, the Maker's Challenge and my buddy West Coast Picks is putting on. And what also I have is, here is, well, a steeper hook. Same wood multicolor and it's actually just one pick guys <laughs> but uh yeah i have a um, steep hook on one side and i have on this side here a media hook now either way win or lose this is gonna end up in my buddy harley's collection i mean he has always sent me so much stuff anyways and i i've been wanting to send him something for a while now anyway it's been a while since i sent him anything so Either way, this is going to end up in uh, your collection, Harley. <laughs> so, um, probably going to polish it up a little bit more, give it a little more polyurethane, but yeah. And uh, I didn't really want to pick anything with this, but I knew it would probably be a short video. We're only at 3.43 right now, so I grabbed a lock here from Pickaholic that was sent, sent to me by him, and this was pinned up by K1 Locks calls it Hall or Hal, H-A-L, um, and I'm hoping I could get into this because I have not tried it, I just got home from work, but it is a quick set, and I'm hoping, ooh, and look at that bidding, so I'm hoping we could get in this at a, at a reasonable time where we might be doing this video again, but uh, yeah, let's grab a tension wrench here. Oh, oh, hold on, let me, I'm not even looking at the camera here, I'm looking at my lock, sorry about that, but let's zoom us up here and actually get us a total frame. That's a little bit better, let me back it up a little bit, I think I'm a little too close, sorry about that. That should be good. All right, let's see if we get in there. All right, we're going to use the medium side. 
There's a little bit of play there. Actually, yeah, it works very smooth. And we are locked up. Okay. Go back to the medium side. Might be all we need is this side. We'll see. Little click from four. Another little click. Okay, that was a little bit on three, and the core moved a little bit. Well, that was another click from three, but I think that was an overset. I'll find out. Couple clicks from five. I didn't like the way they felt either. Oh, and we're open on one. All right, sweet. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I didn't want to make too long a video here, but all right, let's uh, well, let's open this thing up and see what we got. And you know what? We're going to grab a pitting tray. That my buddy Harley made for me. He made that in his CNC machine. Let me um, grab a pair of tweezers and I got so many pinning trays under here. I'm looking for one that has um, some shims in it. I don't, oh, there it is. That's on a huge pinning tray that my buddy Bill Bacardi made me. Alright, well we got a shim, we have tweezers, and we have a key. So let's lock it back up. Alright, let's get this off. Yeah, I will pin a link to that video in the comments below. And for any of you guys that are makers out there, just make something. Anything lock, lock sport related. He doesn't care what it is. Oh, actually, did I pull two off here or was one already on this tray? I think there was two on my buddy Bill Bacardi's tray, maybe. I did not see that there. All right, let's see what we got. Some serrated pins, that's for sure. Oh, we got a T-pin. Or, excuse me, uh, uh, looks like a mushroom spool, maybe. All right, let's see. Serrated in one. That's what a mushroom spool was. And two. A really sharp edge on the top. Number three is a standard, because he's a tiny little guy. Four is, I believe, a serrated. And five, another standard. If I have to look at those. Those might be able to go either way. And here we have threading in one, two, and three. And is that counter milling? Not sure. There's actually a little bit of counter milling there, I believe. Yeah, on both three and five. All right, let's see what we got here. Serrated, I believe. Um, that's possibly a brass spring. And number two, where are you? Big Boo, where are you?
I just had a lock from Truckmaster 30 that there was nothing in the chamber. How lucky could I get with two locks? I don't even know. Let me see. Well, let me hear. Let me go for number three before we tackle that one. And that one is just barely popping up, too. I think we got problems in this lock. That one is jammed in there. Oh, there we go. I got it. It's a serrated. I don't know what the problem was. I don't think I was too rough picking it. Oh, no. There went another pin. How did that happen? Look at that. There's another pin right there now. And it almost seemed like that came out of the same chamber. It seemed like they both came out of number three. So I don't know if somebody put that back. Oop. Ah, oh, damn it. And I just lost that pin on the floor. I'm going to have to maybe pause it and find it. We've got a little bit of a mess here, guys. I think I lost two pins. I believe both of those came out of the same chamber though. And I think I have some stuck springs in there. But give me one second. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to look on the floor for those pins I'm going to find. And I got a rug, so I'm not sure if I'm going to find that. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, I, I really don't even know what happened there. Um, I couldn't find that uh, pin. I'm going to keep looking. I do apologize. But uh, this is what I do have, and I had to actually take the top off of this, and there were some springs that were actually stuck in the lid, I think, two of them. And pin five, um, which is a it's a pin and pin T-pin, and that was kind of stuck in there, too. I'm going to show you that pin in a minute. Um, this is possibly why why it was kind of easy well, the lock opened, uh, uh, you know, sort of easy. But um, he does have everything up here threaded. So we had some things that were getting stuck up there. Because I really don't know if this actually popped out of two or three. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused myself. I have to go back, go back in a video and look at it myself. But here, let's, let's take a look at the pins anyways. Um, here's key pin one which is a serrated. And up top here we have a another serrated. And then two, we have this mushroom spool. Here, if I get it to focus. Come on now. See that, it is a mushroom spool. And up top, I believe we have a serrated. And then we have a standard here in three, in the key pin. Then we have this kind of a messed up spring. I think I might have messed that up myself because it was stuck in the top, I believe. But uh, we have this very deep spool with a really, really sharp edge on the top of that. And then we have this serrated key pin here at four. And a pin that I think it hit me in the shoulder, actually, when it buzzed by me. Um, but here at five, we have a standard in the key pin. And then we have this pin and pin here, but I'm going to show this to you. Because I know I didn't put that much tension on this lock. And this had to have came out this way. I believe it came out of chamber 5. When I took the lid off, it came popping out of there all of a sudden. But you can see the tip of that is bent. So, this might be a little bit of a collaboration lock. I might have to fix this. Um, you can see that it would, would have been a T-pin, but it bent. Um, might have to fix that. I'm going to have to put a pin in there and might have to uh, fix so many springs. This one here was definitely stuck in the lid. See the top of that. I think that one was too. But, um, yeah. All right, it was still a fun lock. And it was still an exciting experience, so needless to say. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal.
Thanks, guys. Bye.